Hi, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. Please subscribe to our channel here. Uh, we talk about mortgages and anything to do really with mortgages uh, and the property purchase sort of uh, journey. Um, I want to talk about getting a mortgage for ex-bankrupts on this one. Um, so adverse credit, past bankruptcies. Um, I've been in this sector for a long time. I've been dealing with a lot of clients that have been historically ex-bankrupt throughout the years, over the last 10 odd years, um, where maybe they were bankrupt throughout the crash, uh, came out of bankruptcy, we got them the first mortgage and it was extortionate rate. Maybe then they stepped to another rate and then now they're sitting with the high street and they just come to me for a normal remortgage. So we've had a journey together over the last 10, 11 years. Um, things have changed. changed. Um, so previous to, uh, previous to the 2008 crash, there were a lot of lenders that would lend to ex-bankrupts. I, I actually remember there was a lender who would uh, give you 85% loan to value, so 15% deposit, if you were bankrupt yesterday. So, I mean, that's that's pretty good. And that sort of shows why, why what happened in 2008. Um, however, um, things changed. So after the crash, it was really, really tough to deal with any type of adverse type mortgage. So IVAs, bankruptcies, CCJs, because they were all pretty recent. Anything recent, they will not do. Um, and then things got better. There were more lenders coming into the fold. And, and it's sort of continued. There's one or two have left, one or two have come in. Um, but the the real uh, thing is basically there's a lot of lenders now looking at ex bankrupt okay and they've all got various criteria around that so i'm going to talk about a couple of the criteria some of the things that are important to some of these lenders when you're dealing with an ex bankrupt uh, i'm going to tell you some of the some of the experiences that i've had personally and just get you prepared if you're in that position and you're looking at getting a mortgage so let's talk about ex bankruptcy it's a bit of a taboo subject you know, I get clients phoning me up and say, well, no, it wasn't my, you know, generally, and honestly, this is this is my own experience. Most of the bankrupt cases that I've come across without they're now looking to get a mortgage have been because of a breakdown in relationship. So a divorce, breaking up with a partner. So you would have thought, I mean, if you, if you didn't know that, if I didn't have this conversation with all these people over the last 10 years, I would have thought, oh, it's mismanagement of funds. Oh yeah, I just went and spent it on a Ferrari. It's generally, well, I would say 50% of the clients I've dealt with, generally it's because of a relationship breakup and it's got bitter or it's got nasty or someone's taken all the money, someone's taken everything else. So that's, that's what I've come across. Then you've got the guys that have maybe invested in properties that went wrong, okay, and a lot of them have. Um, and then you've got the, you know, a very small percentage of, Oh, I just sort of lived a life for a, for a few years and then it caught up with me. Very few of that, okay? Generally, it's a life, oh, sorry, illness or serious illness or death or something within the family, which has meant, oh, I've had to stop work and I've had to look after so-and-so or something's happened. That's actually quite a lot as well. So those are the reasons. They're not the, 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 the you know, I was drinking, um, you know, Cristal champagne every night with a Ferrari and I was living in Mayfair. That's not that's not the case. Generally, people have gone through a, a, a life event. OK, and that life event has made, you know, other things happen. Maybe they've gotten into your ears, maybe other problems have been weird, whether they've lost their job. And that's led to um, often them seeking sort of advice around bankruptcy. So uh, I'm certainly not a debt advisor. OK, I have to make this clear. Uh, I'm only really going to talk about the mortgage aspect of um, bankruptcy and getting a mortgage with a bankrupt. I'm not going to go into you know whether you should go back, whether you should become a bankrupt, or whether you should go into an IVA or things like that. Not my subject, not my expertise. Don't know anything about it. I'm going to talk about mortgages. Um, so when you when you when you've been an ex bankrupt, it really comes down to a couple of things. Criteria was when were you bankrupt? When did you go into your bankruptcy? When were you discharged? Normally a year after uh, you've been bankrupt, um, and then. What happened? So what was the reason for bankruptcy? You normally have to put all of this in on an email or, or, or speak to someone like me. What happened, basically? What was the reason you went into bankruptcy? When were you bankrupt? What's happened since? So, I'll give you an example. Went bankrupt because my property portfolio was overvalued or it sort of went pop. Okay, what are you doing now? 
okay well I don't own any other properties I've got repossessed and so forth uh, what happened on oh, my business uh, you know my business went under uh, okay what do you do now well I've got another business or um, I'm employed now so I've got nothing in relation to the other business so a, a bit of a rationale around what happened and what's happening now okay um, so that's there when were you when were you bankrupt discharged a very important one was there a repossession? Okay, as part of the bankruptcy, was there a repossession? Now, this is the bit that I get a lot. No, there wasn't. I gave my keys back. Well, no, that, that, that's seen as a lender. That's seen as a, a repossession. Okay, I know legally it may not be, but from a lender's perspective, you gave the assets back. Whether or not that asset was actually the lender got his money back or not. Okay, so that needs to be disclosed. And often what happens is in the cases that I get where they've gone direct or they've gone by another broker that doesn't deal with this subject, those are the things that go wrong. It's around disclosure. It's around how you deal with the case, how is the case is packaged together, what information is related back to the lender, and what you're told. You know, you've got to know these rules. Now you know the rule. So basically, if you handed your key back, as far as, as, far as the lender's concerned, you know, there's been, you know, you've, you've given that property back. That property was taken back from you. Okay. Um, so repossession is important because, um, and we'll get to it later, but although a lot of lenders say they will deal with ex-bankrupts, if there's a repossession in the last six years, they will not. And there are some that will say repossession in 10 years. Okay. So that's why it has a bearing. Okay. Because it will have a direct impact on the lendability of that, uh, that criteria for that lender. Okay. So, Repossession, yes or no. Uh, if there's been a repossession, repossession, then there are lenders that will look at it after two years, after three years, after four years, five years, six years. So that needs to be disclosed. Um, now, the way it works with um, ex-bankrupt type lenders that will lend, generally the best case scenario is you need to be out of your discharge for two years right now. There are then a whole host of lenders, over to over 10 banks, that will do it after three years. Now, I want to say bank. A lot of them are actually building societies or smaller lenders, okay? Not the major high street guys. None of these guys are major high street guys, okay? So you've got two years. Probably no, no, no um, repossession on that. Um, then you go down the three years. A lot of more lenders, over 10 or maybe around 15. And then you go four years and then six years okay now when you get to six years it's a little trickier there are some lenders that pretty much all lenders work from the date of discharge so when you came out of the bankruptcy okay i deal with a couple of lenders that will work it from the day you went into the bankruptcy saving yourself a year here okay and they're high street lenders so you could in theory get a 95 percent mortgage for an ex-bankrupt six years into their bankruptcy not six years out so and that's helpful some clients it's really saves you a year saves you a year now generally what would happen with with these type of cases is we'll do a step depends on depends on their situation but say they're out of it for three years okay so we'll give them a, a rate um it's not going to be a high street rate but it's not going to be you know ridiculously high um it's a mid-range rate and then we'll probably look to step them on, maybe do a two year or three year fix, and then we'll step them on to um, to a high street rate, as long as they keep their noses clean. And generally my experience is, most of the clients I've dealt with, they've gone through the bankruptcy, they do not want to go through that again. That was a mess. They, you know, one of the most important thing is, I think they're probably better payers than everybody else, because they've gone through hell, okay? And they've got things together, they've got themselves together to a point where they've got level of deposit and now they're looking to, to the future and they do not want to go back there okay so um that that's what it is now we talked about deposit deposits are very important so what you'll find is generally um you know if it's within a couple of years they would want i don't know 25 percent deposit the, the, the older it becomes maybe it becomes 20 percent 15 percent and then when you get to the high street like i said you could in theory get 95 percent so you know in theory it just depends if it's two years probably 25 percent deposit three years there might be 15 20 percent deposit out there and then you've got the high street guys out there so um that that gives you an idea around deposits uh, affordability 
I don't know, about four and a half times your income, but lenders work on your affordability rather than income multiple. So, you know, you might be on a hundred thousand pounds a year. However, if you've 95,000 pounds a year is going out on loans, you know, that, that has a bearing rather than your old way of, you know, four times your income or five times your income. That's sort of still there behind the scenes, but generally people work on affordability. A um, couple of things you need to get ready before you make an inquiry. Get a credit report. I'll put a link in here and you can get one by Check My Files. I like Check My Files because it's got multi credit agencies. So you can get three credit agencies into one. Um, it's $14.99, but it's free for the first month. Um, so you can cancel it anytime. Um, yeah, we've got an affiliate link, link here. So click on it. It's very good. I recommend it. It's quite clear. The worst thing is I've seen some of these credit reports and I get all sorts of different formats of credit reports. And some of them are horrible because you don't know what it is. You know, is it a late payment? Was that not a late payment? What does that look like? Because it's all bland. It's not in colors. So get a credit report. Get your facts together. Discharge rate. Bankruptcy certificates. All your documentation around the bankruptcy is going to be required. Okay. And often what you owe oh, it. This is a this is a really big one, right? Credit agencies don't know what the hell to do with bankrupts. I've seen credit reports where it says 999, excellent for someone who's been a bankrupt three years ago. They just don't know how to work it. So what you will find is I've got bank ex bankrupts running and saying, yeah, 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 I'm perfect. My credit says 999. It says excellent, but you know I've had I've had a bankruptcy in two years two years ago. Can you get me a mortgage? I'm going well. The credit agency don't know how to work with your credit. Like, oh right, I didn't know that. Well, and so that's one thing. Second thing is. You need to check your credit report because a lot of your people, you know, if you had bankruptcy and you've had people that you owed money to, they may have not updated the credit agency. So it's still showing as a default or CCJ. So you've got to make sure you update the various credit agencies. And that's why I like Check My Files because it gives you all three. You update them with, you know, all the information, you know, make sure, oh, no, no, hang on. here's my bankruptcy discharge certificate. Uh, you know, this should, this should have all fallen, or, fallen off. Um, so you need to get that updated because if it's showing CCJs on your file and you were bankrupt four years ago, but it's showing a CCJ still or a default is still running on your file. You know, well, hang on a minute. That, that, that should have been fallen off from the bankruptcy. That should have been clear or showing balances on loans. So well, no, that, that, that was, that was all part of the bankruptcy. They go, well, um, because the lender will just do a credit check. They're not going to, they're not going to care. They're just going to see it's a computer. It's going to run a credit check. And it's going to say he's got 15,000 pounds out, uh, you know, owing to Barclays. Okay. So get a credit report and get a multi-level one because different agencies see different things. Um, correct it all. Make sure you're in a good spot. Speak to me, speak to other brokers if you want and make sure you've got the right facts around getting a mortgage with bank, uh, for an ex-bankrupt, it's not straightforward. They've got to know their stuff, okay? Because there are things, there are common things that come up. You know, what you want to do is get a broker who knows what they're doing, who can package the case in the right way, who can relay the information in the right way, and knows what you've been through. And some of the pitfalls of getting a mortgage for an ex-bankrupt, like, for example, oh, I've given my keys back. Well, actually, how is that going to be portrayed by or seen by the lenders? Or what is their lender's rules around that? Okay, um, I hope you found this useful. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll speak to you soon. Thank you so much. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker before applying. Niche Advice Limited is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.